how to start a white label dropshipping business and the best white label dropshipping suppliers is everything that we are going to go over in this video even if you have no idea what white labeling means and there is a significant difference between white labels and private labels and if you want to start a dropshipping e-commerce business you need to know this quick intro and let's go Welcome back. I'm Liran from AutoDS. And as you know, in this video, you're going to learn how to start a white label dropshipping business. And we're going to go into everything, what white labeling means, the difference between white label and private labeling, which is the two different methods that you can use when running an e-commerce business. And of course, a step-by-step -step of how to get this business started. So what is white labeling in the first place? Quick reminder, everything that I'm going over in this video, we also have it in our blog article, which I will leave a link to right below this video. And if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping and e-commerce. That being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the action and learn what white labeling means and how to start a successful white label dropshipping business. So what is white label dropshipping in the first place? White label dropshipping means that you are simply dropshipping products from a manufacturer or from a supplier, from a seller without tampering with the product's packaging, with the product's branding. So you're simply moving the box from one place to the other without labeling it as your own product. So how does white label and dropshipping come together? Well, dropshipping is a business model where you can simply sell products you have an online store you're selling products but you're not holding these products in stock this means that you have no investment required and it's very easy to get started so you're simply selling what other sellers have or what other manufacturers created and every time you make a sell and the customer pays you only then do you go to your supplier's website and you purchase the product and ship it directly to the end customer. So the product doesn't go through you. You have no physical contact with the product. And white labeling simply means that you are not branding the product as your own. So the product does not have your brand. It doesn't have your packaging and it doesn't have your logos anywhere on it. Since you did not do any customization on the product itself, the only thing you did customize was your online store, your product page, and everything that comes along with that. Now, private labeling, on the other hand, means that you are branding the product you are creating a brand around your product meaning the product is going to have your brand around it like the way that jbl private labeled these speakers right here so you're going to have your brand on your product but this does mean that you will have to purchase inventory up front because it'll be very difficult to find a manufacturer who will create a product for you and by the way many manufacturers can create this speaker for you and put your logo on it but nobody's going to do it or it's going to be very difficult to find someone who's going to do it for you with the dropshipping business model meaning they're going to have to create hundreds of these products for you and store it themselves and the manufacturer is going to hope that you're going to make those sales because you didn't purchase that inventory up front so if you're not going to make any sales you're not going to be the one stuck with inventory but rather the manufacturer and nobody wants that so we're going to get into all of that soon but that is the main difference between white labeling and private labeling now let's dive further deep inside what are the benefits of white label dropshipping so first of all it's perfect for for beginners if you haven't tested the market yet you don't know what niches are selling well and you want to grow your e-commerce business from the start and learn about the market it's very easy to get started with the white labeled business model because you're not purchasing inventory up front and if you don't make any sales you can always replace those products with other products and continue testing the market and once a product starts to sell then you can multiply your success by adding more products similar to that one while continuing with the white label business model and of course multiplying your sales and success so it's perfect for beginners since you are not purchasing inventory up front. Therefore, it's easier to get started. The second benefit is that there are no MOQ requirements. MOQ stands for minimum order quantity. And we've just been over this. Since your products are white labeled, the manufacturer is creating some label around it, maybe with their brand, maybe with somebody else's brand. And you are simply reselling that product as is. So that means that somebody already manufactured these products and they don't want you to purchase those products in order for you to sell them. You can just sell them as is. And as I mentioned, with the dropshipping business model, simply purchase that product from your supplier's website and ship it directly to your customer. So no minimum order requirements, no upfront investment, easy to get started for beginners. And another great advantage of white label dropshipping is that there are high profit margins here. And the reason for that is because you're not investing in inventory upfront, you don't have to take risks with your own money. You simply list a product, it sells, you ship it from your supplier to the end customer, you keep the profit in the middle. And because you didn't invest in inventory upfront, 
the profit is yours to have after making your first sale. Therefore, the profit margins are higher when starting a white label dropshipping business as opposed to private label where you are purchasing products up front and it takes a much longer while to start seeing any high profit margins. Now, let's take a look at this chart right here, which shows us a great example of the differences between white label and private label dropshipping. So we created this infographic to really help you get an understanding. So first of all, with white label dropshipping, we've got more white label suppliers and they're easier to work with than private label suppliers. So more of them and easier to work with them. Also, you've got the low cost. We already mentioned how running a white label dropshipping business comes with lower costs since we don't have to invest in inventory upfront. We don't have any minimum order requirements because we are not changing the labels. We are not branding the product. And if we don't sell it, then we don't have to worry about it. Simply remove and replace it with another white label product. And of course, the large profit potential, which I already mentioned and why it's like that. Now with private label dropshipping, there are other advantages like customer loyalty. Because because once you brand your product, then your customer can identify with your product and identify with your brand and stay loyal to your brand after, of course, they purchase the product, they got it, they see your label, they see your logo, and they feel like they can identify with it. So it's a high quality product, they got it on time, they will remember your brand and that increases customer loyalty. Also, private labeling allows us to differentiate ourselves from the competition because you've got your own custom logos and packaging. So of course, if another seller is selling the same exact product as you, but they did not private label their product, it just looks like a generic brand and then you've got your product which looks better it's branded it looks like a big serious company which hopefully it is and of course you are going to get a competitive edge over your competitors who are just using generic brands. And you've got creativity freedom. Because our suppliers are the ones who are doing all of the heavy lifting, we can focus on evolving and adapting to the market. Our manufacturers are the ones who are manufacturing the products and it is our jobs to sell it. And this works for both white labels and private labels. But those are some of the most significant differences between the two. So white label dropshipping, some of the pros. We've got a wide selection of white label suppliers, low cost. We save a lot of time because we don't have to go through the manufacturing process process and logistics and we've got a large profit potential since we've got no upfront investment. The cons of course is that we have limited branding options since we're using somebody else's brand. We've got more competition because many people can sell the same exact product that we are selling with the same generic brand and limited product choice because it is not our brand and many people are can also sell this product to the same audience that we are trying to sell it to. That limits the amount of product choices that we have but do not let that alert you. Do not let that startle you because there are tens of millions of products that you can resell in the white label market and so many dif different regions to sell to not only one region and you don't only have one supplier to work with so all in all it's a system that works really well once you have the right knowledge and tools and once of course you practice test and get the hang of it now we already understand about private label dropshipping there are pros and cons and this is all about white label dropshipping so i'm going to skip out on that but you remember from the beginning of this video i already talked about the pros and cons of private label dropshipping now how do we find white label dropshipping suppliers and how do we work with them the right way? Now that we understand the definitions of what white labeling means, let's jump into the how to's. So how do we find and work with successful white label dropshipping suppliers? First thing that you want to do is conduct fruitful product and niche research. This means that you need to know or you need to have a good sense of direction of the product or the niche slash category that you want to go for that you want to sell before starting to look for suppliers. Now the way to conduct product and niche research, there are multiple ways to do it and you have all kinds of information scattered out there on the internet but let me narrow it down for you and give you the best practices at least from my five plus years of experience in drop shipping so the first thing that i recommend to do when it comes to product research if you are an AutoDS member is to use the internal product research feature that we have inside the AutoDS system now of course you can learn all about it just use the links in the blog right below this video but this overall is an internal product research system where you can easily find products to sell inside the system, see what products are trending, read all about them, read customer reviews, see how fast they ship out and import them to your store in just one click. Now, this is a great way to find great trends. You can also prepare yourself for holidays. You can also see what products are new. You can jump between US and Chinese suppliers. And soon we're also going to add wholesale dropshipping suppliers inside the product research system to help you get a higher competitive edge over your competitors who are not working with those private suppliers. And those suppliers are gonna be very high quality with some of the best products that you will be able to sell on your stores. But if you are not an AutoDS member and you still wanna learn, you don't have the system and you simply want to gain all of the right knowledge, 
then there are many, many other ways to do it. For example, simply head over to AutoDS.com and hover over resources, go to the dropshipping blog, scroll down, click on product finding and best sellers and learn about the best products that you need to sell. We have monthly product articles, we have categories, and we have all of the best dropshipping products inside these articles along with the best product research methods. So I cannot cramp all of this information inside this video, but if you go to this blog page, click on product finding and best sellers, start learning, and every day put in at least half an hour to one hour of simply learning. Don't take action, just learn, accumulate information, write down all the important notes on the side, and then take action. But you have to do both. You have to learn and you have to take action. One cannot work without the other. You need them both. And that way you will be on the ladder to success. Another way to learn about the best product research methods is simply to head over to youtube.com slash AutoDS. And here we've got a dedicated playlist called the Sell These Now playlist. So you wanna hover over that playlist, click on it and see all of the videos that we have in there. Starting of course with the monthly product videos because these are always updated with the most trending products that are renewing every month. And we're not just giving you what products you need to sell but we're also sharing their facebook ads the sellers websites where they're sourcing these products from, how much they're paying, how much they're profiting on every sale, along with all of the engagements that they have in their Facebook ads to give you a good indication of how well these products are selling. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many product research methods, but if you go to our blog page, go to our YouTube channel, you'll find the best methods of conducting product research along with the best products that are trending to start off with and help you get your first few sales before you learn to multiply and scale your business on your own. Now, once you've found your product, you found your niche, now it's time to hook up with a white label dropshipping supplier. Over here, I recommend going to autods.com slash suppliers or simply go to autods.com, hover over suppliers and click on it. And here you're gonna learn about over 25 suppliers that you can start working with today. Some are retail suppliers, some are wholesale suppliers, but you'll have to start working with them. You'll have to start seeing what products they have and start to see what's working better than others. Don't only work with one dropshipping supplier. The optimal number should be three because that way if one supplier ever lets you down. For example, if it is a Chinese supplier and now there's a Chinese holiday and now no one's going to ship out your products for two to three weeks, then of course you will have American suppliers that you can rely on or United Kingdom suppliers or Canadian or Australian or New Zealand. You have all of these regions over here. And of course, you can also add business automation like price monitoring, stock monitoring, automatic orders, and so much more. But the main point here is to get acquainted with some of the best dropshipping suppliers that you can start working with today. And that is going to give you a strong advantage advantage over your competition and of course access to tens of millions of products to resell on your dropshipping stores and all of those suppliers or almost all of them are white label dropshipping suppliers one of them is half white label and half private label and i am talking about alibaba because they can create products for you they can manufacture them cj dropshipping can also help you source products and private label them so there is more than one option here but right now we're talking about white labels and 95 percent of these suppliers are white label dropshipping suppliers so go over there see what selection you have, go to their websites, see what categories they have, see what niches they have, and see that it matches what you are looking for to sell. Now, let's go back just really quick to product research. When you're going to our blog page, when you're going to our YouTube channel and you're looking for products, you start to get a good idea of how to conduct product research for your stores. Use the product research dropshipping spreadsheet, which is of course linked in the blog below this video. And I just clicked on it right here. And here, what I want you to do is add your products. First of all, click on file, make a copy so that you can start editing, then start adding all of your your products, their source URLs, and answer all of these questions. Are you passionate about it? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? Answer all these questions. And once you are answering yes to all of the drop down menus on a product, which you will narrow down after you filled up this spreadsheet, then you will start to understand what products have the highest potential of selling and succeeding to help you make profits in your store. Those that you have the answer no, skip out on them and find those that have yes to all of them. But first of all, like I mentioned, go to our blog page, go to our YouTube channel, learn about the product research methods, learn about the best products that are trending today, then start adding products to the spreadsheet and then narrow it down. And this is gonna help you create shortcuts and succeed faster when it comes to product research. Now you need to go to your supplier's website and search for your product or niche, as I mentioned, because you need to make sure, of course, that they have them. And that is, of course, why you wanna work with more than one supplier to also grow your reach to more and more dropshipping products. So instead of having 50 products in a category, you can 
can have 200 or even more. And of course, if it starts to sell for you, then you're going to multiply your success by adding more products similar to that niche and maybe even create a niche store around that niche because it started selling well for you. But do not start with a niche store right away unless you already started to test the market, you know what works, and now you want to go for a niche. But that is another topic for another conversation. Your next step is to check branding and pricing options. Now, I did mention that you cannot use white label dropshipping on suppliers if you do not order a minimum order quantity, but there is a small exception here. And let's talk about that for a second. If you have a product that is selling well for you and you are using white label dropshipping, you're not purchasing any inventory up front, but there is a product niche that's selling really well for you. So let's say, for example, that a certain product is working really well for you. Like, let's say you're doing a really good job selling a type of computer desk. Okay. A certain niche under computer desk. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Alibaba and you're going to search for that niche that's working well for you. Now you're going to look for a supplier, a manufacturer who can create this product for you. But before he creates anything for you, of course, you're going to reach out to him. So first you've got the verified icon, meaning that he passed verification on, on Alibaba. You can see how long he's been on the platform for, and you can easily start a chat with him on WeChat or through Alibaba's messaging service. But the point is what you want to do here is contact these suppliers and let them know that you have a dropshipping store. Let them know how many sales you have per day and ask them if they can private label your products or at least private label the package around the product. Start with that because it'll be easy to replace just the package and not the product itself. So see if they can just brand the package with your brand and tell them that you have this and that many sales per day and the manufacturer, some of them will not want to miss out on the opportunity of getting all of these sales. So they will agree to create a certain amount for you. And you will have to give them some kind of guarantee that if you don't sell them in a certain amount of time, then you will either have to buy it or just tell them that you will finish up that stock for them. But that is why I suggest starting with just branding your package. And once that works well, then you can also brand the product and you will be able to find these suppliers who will do it for you. Even if you are not purchasing inventory in advance, they will see your transactions they will trust you as a seller, they will trust your business, and they will create custom packaging with your brand and ship out your orders one by one with the dropshipping business model. Now, granted, it is not easy to find these suppliers. You will have to dig down. You will have to reach out to many of them. But once you find them, you will be able to mix between private labeling and white labeling without holding any inventory. And this is really an optimal stage to be at. Now, of course, after you brand your packages and that works well, you're going to move over to also branding your package. But now we're talking about how to run a private label business using the white label business model because you're not purchasing any inventory in advance. So there is a way to mix between the two worlds and enjoy that. But of course, if you do decide to go with inventory up front and you want to go full on private labeling, then you want to make sure that you know that you're selling a product that will sell, that you will not get stuck with this inventory. And that is much more challenging and difficult for beginners. Okay, so let's get back to it. The next step is to create business policies for your store, but that is when you already start to create your dropshipping store. So let's skip that because we're going to go over how to start a white label dropshipping business from A to Z. For now, let's go over the top seven suppliers that I recommend to work with when it comes to white label dropshipping. So my top seven suppliers are CJ Dropshipping, Overstock, Banggood, Wayfair, Costway, Amazon, and Gearbest. Now, some of them are retail, some of them are wholesale. So you will have to play around and see what works well for your business. But those are my favorite top seven white label dropshipping suppliers. Of course, you've got, as I mentioned, over 25 of them on autods.com slash suppliers. Learn about them and see what works best for you. If you want to get a nice brief description of every one of these suppliers, of course, use the blog linked right below this video. And you will have a brief explanation of every supplier, help pages, and full articles on how to actually work with them. Now let's go over how to start a white labeling dropshipping business, a successful one at that from A to Z. So step number one, as I mentioned, is product research. We already went over that. And after you find the products that you want to sell, you want to look for a white label dropshipping supplier, the right one. I went over my list of my top seven. You have over 25 that you can work with and you already know where you can find them. Step number three is to choose your selling channel. So here you're deciding where you want to sell your products on, where you want customers to go to be able to purchase your product. Now you can create your selling channel on eBay that gives you free organic traffic and you don't have to spend any money on marketing and it doesn't cost any money to start a store. Only when you want to upgrade your subscription and get more limits and get more listings, only then will you have to pay for a minimal store fee subscription and work your way up once you start making sales. Do not upgrade your subscription before you are making sales and profit because if you are not selling the right product to the right market, it doesn't 
doesn't matter how big your store is, it's going to be very hard for you to make sales and profits. So make sure to build yourself slowly and gradually on eBay. And we have lots of how to tutorials, of how to get started on eBay, since it is not easy today. And eBay is very sensitive to new sellers. So you're going to have to know how to take all of the steps the right way to avoid getting account suspensions, to be able to increase your eBay selling limits. And of course, we have all of the guides and all of the content to do it the right way on our blog page and on our YouTube channel. Then you've got other marketplaces like Shopify and Wix, which simply allows you, it is actually not a marketplace. It is a host that allows you to host your online website. You can have your own custom domain name. So you're going to have your www.yourstorename.com. But here you won't get any free organic traffic unless of course you have blog pages and blog articles and SEO. And that takes time to get all of that running. But you want to start making sales on your first day or on your first week. And that will not happen naturally with SEO right from the start. So you have to learn how to market your business. And there are many ways to do it. There's running Facebook ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, influencer marketing platforms, email marketing, and so much more. And of course, all of the explanations that you need on how to do that. We have full guided articles on our blog page on our YouTube channel. You've also got other marketplaces like Facebook. So Facebook marketplace is a great place to start a dropshipping business on, but you have to live in the US. You have to be a US citizen to pass SSN verification once you make $599 in sales. So if you are not an American citizen, you don't have an SSN number, you're not going to have much success and much luck running a Facebook marketplace dropshipping business. But if you are a US citizen, I highly recommend checking out that selling channel. You also have more places like WooCommerce. You also have platforms like Amazon. So there are many selling channels that you can actually host your online business on. And this is the part where you need to select after you research your products, after you found suppliers that can sell these products and help you make those profits on your store, you're going to have to choose what selling channel you want to go with. So of course, you can learn more about them in depth in our blog article. Now, once you chose the right selling channel, it's time to start adding products to your store, right? Because you research your products, you know what suppliers you want to work with, and you have your selling channel. Now it's time to go to your suppliers websites, grab those products and sell them on your selling channel. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. You can do it the manual way by simply going to your suppliers website, copying and pasting all of the information and pasting it, of course, on your selling channel. This is very time consuming. And if you want to have thousands of listings, you're going to spend all of your time and energy on that. And it's going to be very difficult to grow and scale your dropshipping business from there. So that is why you want to start to add business automation at this point. And that is where AutoDS comes in handy with the importer tool, which simply allows you to import tens to even thousands of products within a couple of clicks and within a couple of seconds. So of course, you can read all about that on the feature page. Just click on the link in the article below. Once you start adding business automation, this is where the high numbers and the high profits and the biggest amount of sales are going to come in. Now, once you've added these products to your store, it's time to market your products. And as I mentioned, there are many ways to market your products and you can learn all about them on our blog page, on our YouTube channel, and even even on our ebooks page, where there you have an ebook called Eight Steps to Run Facebook Ads for Your E-Commerce Business. And this is, of course, if you're interested in running PPC ads, pay-per-click ads, this is one of the best ways to bring traffic to your stores on the first day after launching your store. So it's the quickest way. Of course, it costs money. You're going to have to set a budget aside and you can learn all about that inside the ebook. So go to autods.com, hover over resources, click on ebooks, scroll down, click on the Facebook ads for e-commerce in eight steps and click on unlock your ebook, write your name and your email address, and you will get a free copy for that ebook and start learning. As you see, we have so much information, so much content. Our knowledge base is huge and it's ever growing because we want you to succeed with your e-commerce business. And learning to market your stores is very, very important if you're running it on places like Shopify and Wix where you don't have free traffic like you do have on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. So learn about the selling channels, learn about their pros and cons and make the right decision for your business. There are more ways to market your store, even on selling channels that give you free organic traffic like eBay and Facebook Marketplace. So on eBay, for example, you can run promoted listing standard it's telling eBay, hey, I'm going to give you 5% or 10% from every transaction. If you're able to make sales, if you're able to promote this product and make a sell off of it, and eBay will only charge you after making a sell, they'll promote your listings and the higher percentage you give them, the stronger stronger, they'll promote it. And if you're not making any sales, they're not going to charge you anything. And then there's the new PPC feature, promoted listings advance, 
where it is just like Facebook PPC, just like Amazon PPC, just like every other big boy PPC out there, eBay is now also into pay-per-click ads. And of course, we have articles on promoted listing standard and the advanced PPC. Just click on the articles once again in the blog article below this video and you will learn all about those methods. On Facebook Marketplace, you can do things like boost your listings. You can post and share your listings in relevant buying and selling groups. And of course, learn about that in the blog article. Step number six, Six, after you marketed your products, now it's time to start fulfilling your orders and take care of your buyers. Now you can fulfill your orders either manually by going to your supplier's website, purchasing the product and shipping it directly to your end customer, or you can use automatic orders. And this is going to save you a whole bunch of time by simply automating all of your orders. As soon as they come in, the system will do it automatically for you. Go to your supplier's website, purchase the product, ship it to the, your end customer in two different ways. One way is using your buyer account and your payment settings under your buyer account on your supplier's website. And the other is using AutoDS's buyer accounts, which frees you up even more. It frees up your credit line at the bank. You don't have to worry about your accounts on your supplier's websites getting locked because AutoDS has more than enough of them and the system can simply take care of all of your orders. So even while you travel, even while you sleep, even while you're doing anything that's not sitting in front of your computer, as soon as a customer orders something, the order will get fulfilled automatically. Tracking information will get updated automatically as soon as it's available from your supplier. And all of the statuses will change accordingly, according to the status of your order. So from pending status to ordered, to shipped, to delivered. And of course you have easy one click returns with fulfilled by auto DS. So it's very easy to get around and your customers are going to receive their packages in blazing fast speeds because you weren't even there to process their order. It was done automatically and tracking was updated automatically. So they're able to track their packages really, really quick. And this requires little to no intervention from your side, which of course increases your scalability because your time is freed up to take care of other important tasks to grow your dropshipping business and you won't be stuck fulfilling 100 orders per day manually and spending all day on that or spending all day importing products because these things are very, very time consuming. And today you can automate 100% of that. And the last step, of course, after making those sales is taking care of your customers. It is a business. You have a real and a serious business at that. And if you want to make it for the long term, if you don't just want to make quick profits this month and the next, but you really want to be here for the long run, you want to gain those repeating customers who return to purchase from your website, you're going to have to offer the best customer service that you can. So of course, every platform has a different place where you can read your customers messages. So go and read them on a daily basis. Take care of all of your buyers requests, even if they want to return a product, even if they're trying to return after their return window closed, try to find a good solution to every problem that you have. Customer service only takes up about one to 2% of your total work on your dropshipping business because there aren't a lot of customers who are going to reach out to you unless you have, of course, hundreds of orders per day, then it might be a good time to hire a virtual assistant that can help you take care of your customer service while, of course, you continue focusing on growing your business and not getting stuck on tedious tasks like this one. But you wanna offer the best customer service that you can even if sometimes it needs to set you back a few bucks because it is definitely worth it in the long run. I hope that this video helped you understand what white label dropshipping means, how it differs from private label dropshipping, and what are the right ways to start and structure your white label dropshipping business from A to Z. Let me know if you have any questions and I will personally address them in the comments below. And of course, stay curious, do not stop learning, but also learn to take action. Once you have a mixture of dropshipping knowledge and taking action in this field, only then, and after much testing, you will start to see success like me, like everyone else who's doing it successfully. But also do not forget to take action. So once you have a healthy combination of learning and taking action, you will find your secret key to success, even if and when you will experience failure along the way. Bumps on the road is a part of every successful person's road to success. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn about the next step that you need to take in your e-commerce business. Stay updated with the latest trends and the latest products to sell and so much more that we have going on. Thank you for watching and good luck with your white label dropshipping business.